is Munyantes, the boy who can play a bit. Martin Buckin trying to get a challenge in, referee did. So far, Munyantes, there's a thumper, straight in, long, long way out. Doug Leash, nice turn. Forward, good ball to Hartford with a chance. Lovely move, one, two, three from Scotland, stringy. Masson can shoot from there, thumps one in straight to the keeper. Good chance there for Don Masson. Typical left-sided Joe Jordan run. The defence coming across, that must be a free kick. Outside Cordoba, punched across by Jordan. Burns is up in front, ball spinning loose, temptingly, rear up front. Dovish holding back, not to be offside. A good ball for Dovish, almost a break, but a very, very good recovery. Wobbly pass, taking down on the left. Overrunning it a bit, Ruff has to come out smartly, which he did. To Dovish, the space out in front when Masson comes in. Masson with a chance. Left foot shot by Masson is on. Going left. Is it bending in play? No, runs out of play. Johnson at the far side. Three takes it early, chance for Jordan. Yeah. Goal! Jordan scores, Scotland run up! Joe Jordan, who scored Scotland's last goal in the World Cup in 74, scores the first one in 78. Beautifully taken goal, a lovely lay off from Doug Leash. Right, showing nice close control. Kennedy trying to force his way through and Doug Leach running into the centre. Jordan going on. Brought down cruelly there by Johnston. Johnston cutting round the outside. Low cross goal and it all the way. And he does it beautifully. But uh, the referee spotted an infringement which Bugliante is driving it in. Well the idea was good. The flag was up on this side actually for offside and that looked a bit more dangerous and there's a good run the chance the great save by Ross and it's over for a goal kick and that could have been very very awkward indeed for once Peru found the extra space they found the extra men moving round Burns beautifully Guignanti's out in front of a great chance for Peru and it could easily have been the equaliser after Peru's best move and that was Kitu who came racing in the credit for again he cuts it square to Oblitas. Great chance. Super save by Ruff. Oblitas giving the Scotty number of Scottish jerseys there. The ball again blocked. Second chance for Peru. A third chance for Peru and it's just wide. It's Diaz, I think, coming forward to thump that one in. And again it wasn't. The Yanti shouting for it on the far side as Arosa tries to make space. He dips over Alan Ruff's right hand post. Goal kick to Scotland. Peru very dangerous on the break, Joe, just like this. Edge of the box, breaks to Mignanti's left footy, driven in. Turned and shot rather quickly. Kennedy finding Jordan, can he catch it? Out in front, on the line, turned across to the Bleach, Hartford in support. And that was a good run by Jordan. It looked as if the ball was going over the line. Jordan did well to chase it. There he goes. Roll placed on the left touch line. There's a nice ball through, but the side spotted that well. Out here, an awful lot of white shots going forward as Obitas tries to make space. Could be a corner. And a chance for Peru. It must be an equaliser, and it is. Peru a level. The scorer disappears. Cesar Quito in a sea of white jerseys and it should be perfectly fit. trying to go forward not successfully won by Jordan tight Kennedy in support but there goes the half time whistle a good game excellent match referee and getting a, getting a chance to get it across Scotland under all sorts of pressure there under all sorts of trouble La Rosa disappointed that uh, he didn't profit to the full from that mistake by the Scots too. Going past Buckin on the outside, great run by Munantes, the pair of them still, and that could be a free kick to Peru. Now Douglas, forward to Jordan, lovely move, and it just went wide and it may have grazed the post. Douglas, a superb flick to Jordan. Jordan hooked down there, quite unceremoniously by Diaz, who already had a bad foul on Jordan in the line, Kiroga, 
There's Burns going up, Caroga punches it down to Hartford, takes it first time, and he hit it straight. Danger for Scotland. Good play by Adler Fag. Ball turn. Superb ball to Willie Johnston. Johnston out in front. Oh, Douglas was up. There it goes, there's Jordan on the far side. Douglas is out in front. Douglas tried to shield it and turn, and it was got a shot in and it was deflected. Now that was a good move from Scotland, Joe Harper. Yes, it's noticeable that Willie Johnson's come over to the right wing. Masson floating it in. Burns is up, a chance for Jordan! Oh, my goodness, what a chance for Jordan's second goal. A miraculous, instinctive bit of goalkeeping by Kiroga. Jordan up again, down to Ria. Can he get a shot in? Ria's going forward. And is he giving a penalty? Yes, we have taken out of the play. A penalty to Scotland. Diaz was the offending player. Riyad was in the clear, and the referee is giving a penalty. There's the move again. Watch Riyad also providing a little bit of games when... Well, a golden chance for Scotland. Kiroga pushing the ball to his right for a corner kick. But it certainly must be now. 20 minutes gone in the second half. Free kick to Peru for that tackle by Barakis. Bending in beautifully, but well spotted by Ruff. Could be left a lovely ball to Mayantes waiting in. Oh, that was almost a disaster for Scotland. Scotland under all sorts of pressure. Massa not getting it away. The shot finally rammed in at Ross. He's way through. Almost a free shot and a goal. What a goal. Scotland in real trouble. Beautiful goal. I'll be passed up down at the edge of the box right on the line. And look at that. How close can you get to a penalty? Here he comes. Kubilas drives it in and it's a goal! Well, Kubilas, brilliant third goal for Peru. Kemal floating it across. Headed down by Jordan McCarry going in. Didn't get enough power behind it. And Burns cut out Sotil trying to get through. And if the advantage rule had been played there, Scotland might have been in trouble. Sotil, who Kubilas at the edge of the box, tries to work a one-two. Sotil going through, brought down by three ways player. The goal kick. Kemmel fighting it deep. Douglas following up. Oh, nearly got to it. A good knock. Nudge on Douglas, perhaps, at the edge of the box. Free kick, better that. Gemmel, a free kick. Jordan trying to get to it. Unsuccessful. Now, Archie Gemmel. Coming through. Hartford brought down. Another free kick. Taken quickly, but uh, Hod blocked. Stuart Kennedy comes through. Hartford drives it in. And that's it. It's all over. And Peru have caused a major sensation by beating Scotland. And to be fair...